Good day, YouTube. I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome to episode seven of our Hattrick Manager series. Today, we will be going through our latest matches, doing for usual youth pools, and discussing what lies ahead. If you wish to watch more videos like this one and further content from Hattrick, Football Manager, and FIFA, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Right, let's jump right in. As we always do, we start off in our office. First bit of news is obviously solidarity with Ukraine. Patrick is donating 10,000 euros to the Swedish Red Cross in Ukraine to help their efforts for people affected by the war. Well done, Patrick. Well done. I know F1 is really, really chipping in. Let's do this. Make a difference. A ah, former player of ours was recently involved in a new transfer. Oh, we only received 720. Who was that? Rob Pierce, 30 years old. So we sold him 30,000, bought him 3,000, sold him 30,000, and then not even a year later, they uh, sold him for 18,000. And we still make a bit of transfer money from him. Nice. Training. So we've now got two world class playmaking, a magnificent, and two solids on stamina. As I keep on saying, start of next season, we will start using our training cycle kind of means this season was a bit of a dead season of our training but we really wanted to get fourth which would have been our best position in this division however we was hoping to break into that top four as the last few weeks have gone past i don't think that's now going to be possible reason why we was three points away from top three games later we're now 10 points away from top fourth are five points away from us we was on the same points with FX power. And now look at them, they're on 24 points. It was on 15 points. Our last game we played was against Helix Cosmots. We beat them 5 0. And I think that's where the fake hype was coming from because I think what has happened is he's probably just forgotten to do his team one week and this is the result of it. Um, for the week before that, it was a surprise win. Maybe he was just a bit niffed off with the game and thought, you know what, I'll give up. I've got to do it. And then he's gone back to it and go, right, okay, I'll go back into it. We knew that we was going to lose against Ifli. I played it cool so that we get a bit of boost in our team spirit. And then with our team spirit being nice and high, we went and played normal and we got a good draw against Newark Rangers. Throughout the time when we played them, we was sitting third. Good draw, right? I thought, yep, okay, brilliant. And then we played against Banana Bandits. I played it cool. We drew one all. Now, Banana Bandits, we go to our series. As you can see, the team is currently ownerless. They're on seven points. They've won two games all season. They've drawn against us. And that slowed down. Our, that should have been three points. That was a guaranteed three points. But just like Helix, I mean, Helix, we're catching them up. But we're not going to do it this season. If you look at our fixtures we have left so let's have a look so fx power we're not going to win that mainstream and wolf club okay we've got two wins there helix cosmonauts they are playing new York rangers you could say loss win loss okay so they're going to get three points there needs to be a slip up but even if they draw one of these games even if they draw against banana bandits it's going to go down to goal difference and most likely we're not going to do it because their goal difference is 21 whereas ours is 11. it's looking like that we're not going to get fourth place we're going to remain fifth and it's going to be fifth for our third season in this division so this training plan this recycling of what we're going to do bring in some hardcore core players and then redo our training our youth team who's gonna bring us even more money to make sure that we can afford these really really good core players i want to bring in three or four maybe not all straight away because we've got to think about investing in our youth and we've got to think about affording to buy these core players because that moment what we've got is not working it's not good enough and if we go to statistics and see that on our power rating we're we're starting to stagnate we we just can't seem to push yes F uh, newark rangers has really dropped down and helix because more not are going in that direction too we was on a great path for three seasons and i don't know i, I just feel like that we're stagnated and we need to do something the next upload i do on hatrick will be showing you how the implementation goes and then it's a new journey this is going to be a new journey because at the end of the day we need to get better we need to get better we need to do something i'm excited for it 
we are actually gonna have a look at uh youth is it someone i can get rid of he's nearly 19 did we promote him it is quite a good overall he's just a bit old yeah five 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 is he worth anything yeah nothing so okay so that now means we can do our youth ball here we go i haven't had anyone good for ages 15 good poor poor weak no next one 16 poor weak no come on well this is literally just gonna be the update oh oh there we go so what we got 15 it's good inadequate overall skills this might be for player for us without any further training this player will remain inadequate passing Given him a chance to improve his playmaking skills, this guy might well reach inadequate in that department. Okay, he could be one of our better ones. Not great. Then lastly, we just quickly look friendly. Get that done. Add team to pull. Any international away. Add team to pull. Couldn't find anyone at the moment, but I'm pretty sure that's going to pop up any minute. So we've got man sent off last game by the looks of it. Or suspended. We'll play A team here. But he's to come off and he can't even whack him in there. A youth scorer. And what am I missing in midfielder? Who am I missing? Did I sell him? Okay, so Ainsworth in for Ferk. And then a uh, youngster can just go in there. Don't need to win back. Play as normal. Yeah, just in case you never know. Never know. Can Nick and win and not win? When I mean, we did it against Helix, we're at home. Nick and draw. We really put pressure on here look just never know if we could nick something from that with this game you never know yeah okay so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it please leave a like if you would like to watch more videos like this please subscribe and to be notified click on the bell